So recently, after a long wait, we finally got the announcement of when Part 4 Jason and his accompanying map will be coming to Friday the 13th the game, and some more details of the map, the new counsellor and the killer himself. Firstly, let's look at the Crystal Lake killer himself, Part 4 Jason. This iteration of Jason unlocks at level 44 and carries the Pig Splitter, a large meat cleaver as seen in the film, and seems to have a good variety of custom kills for the weapon. As for his strengths and weaknesses, they are as follows. Strengths are Part 4 Jason can run, has increased weapon strength and better destruction, and his weaknesses are that Part 4 Jason has a decreased speed in water, a weakness in the shift ability department, and less traps than standard. So what exactly does this mean? To me this indicates that Part 4 Jason will be more of a hack and slash killer, geared towards relentlessly chasing down and hacking away at counsellors, ensuring nothing stands in his way with his increased speed and of course destruction ability. Part 4 Jason will be weaker in the department of ambush attacks however, his lack of speed means he'll have to be smarter when intercepting the boat, and his ability to teleport to the water and approach from the lake is impeded by of course his lack of water movement speed. His shift ability isn't as potent as some of the Jasons, meaning he'll have to be smart and conservative about how he uses this ability. Finally, Part 4 Jason has a reduction in traps from the standard amount, and therefore he'll have to be much smarter about how he uses them to block key objectives, and will have to rely more on game sense and you know audio and visual cues due to the lack of safety cushion that the traps provide. Next is the Jarvis House map. The first new unique map to be added to the game, this map seems a bit more close quarters than the other maps, but also a lot more winding and maze-like. From the overhead map picture you can see on screen now, we can kind of get the impression that the multitude of roads and paths that cut through the map will be quite winding and complex, meaning that the usual structure of cat and mouse in the game may be made even more intense by the way this map's laid out. We get some shots of the Jarvis home and the vacation home across the way from the movie. These recreations are extremely faithful to the source material, and seem to be fairly well fleshed out both inside and out. There is no doubt that both of these houses will see a lot of action seeing as they are both large focal points for the map, and whilst the vacation home may look quite cosy inside, I see things getting pretty hairy once Jason kills the lights. And finally the new counsellor Mitch Floyd. This is heavily based upon Chuck, a stoner counsellor from the third film in the series. Mitch, whilst having the appearance of, of course, a typical stoner, will actually be quite a powerful counsellor. He has low speed, stamina and strength, but also has extremely high composure and a very high repair stat, meaning that he'll probably perform best in groups, being protected whilst he repairs crucial objectives, though his slightly above average stealth stat means he has at least a small chance if he finds himself alone. Mitch Floyd could easily prove to be one of the best counsellors in Friday the 13th the game, and I'm sure we're all excited to see how he actually performs in-game. Part 4 Jason, the Jarvis house map and Mitch Floyd are all releasing for free on the date of Friday the 13th this month, October, launching alongside its physical copy of the game in stores, which at the time of writing is just under a week away. Just in case you weren't excited enough though, Gun Media have also released a short video showing off Part 4 Jason, the new storm weather effects, the Jarvis house map, and a quickly dismembered Chad in an all new teaser trailer for the map, which is playing right now. Anyway, that's about all for today. Hopefully you're as excited as I am for the release of Part 4 Jason, Mitch Floyd, and of course the Jarvis Harris map next week. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, do go ahead and drop a like below. Will you be playing the new Jason, or will you stick to another? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the channel whilst you're there. I make Friday the 13th videos regularly, along with content for other games such as Ark, Rainbow Six Siege, and more. So don't forget to subscribe to be the first to see the next video. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.